original one, but it's quite possibly, not even possibly, it is the last movie that we ever watch in this house. Pouring in our mashed onion cheese. Well, this was 2011. Uh, I sort of dropped the ball on this. As you can see, uh, we, we moved. We moved today. So, uh, forgive me for... Well, I can't... Otherwise, that's way back here. Um, Thor. To be totally honest with you, I did not pay attention to too much of what was going on in that movie. But I'll say this. That I think it's... If, if we're just looking at it as a piece of the ongoing series, it was by far the most visually interesting. The cinematography was the was was creative and different, while the previous ones that I've watched were very basic. You know, not doing anything different other than that the comedy and just the bringing superheroes to the table in general. But this one had a very definitive visual style and it was it was creating a world it was like the most world creation that was really cool i liked sort of the lore i get the sense that um i feel like that one is doing a lot of setup of the character sort of similar to how the first iron man was so a lot of the things that they're setting up in this will come into play later such as the tesseract which i was familiar with just by name because i remember so many people talking about that later in the series um so, yeah, uh, uh, and then it, I saw Love and Thunder, so it was cool to see the sort of backstory or the, the, the previous, yeah, I guess the, the, the prequel to um, him and Natalie Portman character, their, like, love relationship. So, um, anyways, I'm not watching one tonight because it's late and we just finished moving, but I'll be back on the train tomorrow.